Okay. That's all I needed it for. Hey guys, my name is Laura, and welcome to this video. By guys, I mean mom. Thanks for always supporting me, mom. Number one supporter, and only one subscriber. Let's hop into the video. I wasn't quite sure what to talk about today, so I decided to do a bit of reflecting. Get it? Reflect, reflect, tin, reflect, tin. I don't really, I'm not really a metal connoisseur. So I'm not quite sure what type of metal is this. I assume tin, but there could be some tin wrong with that. So I thought I would, you know, pull a topic out of here. Friends, hello. I'm gonna be talking about the key to making friends. I think I've got some five great tips the more friends you won't know what to do with. And of course I'm making this video with all my friends. For my first tip, have good hygiene. <laughs> uh, but no, if you smell bad or have bad breath, people won't really want to be around you. And I think some people need to hear that. For my second tip, tip, always have gum. I'm sure everybody knows as soon as you have a pack of gum, you have a million people coming after you. People come sticking to you. Make sure to hide a spare pack in your own backpack to make sure your gum don't last. Alright, for tip number three, uh, have a really good pencil sharpener. If you're somebody without a pencil sharpened, anyone with a sharpener becomes your best friend. I'm not kidding, this was a real tip my mom told me going into high school. And um, I had a really cute one that looked like a caterpillar. And bonus, if you get one that looks like a living thing, then you automatically have a friend. Tip number four. You know, the truth is, people love talking about themselves. If you're a good listener, by asking questions and listening, that's going to get you started. Tip number five. Have some money. People say money doesn't buy happiness. I beg to differ. Money can buy you lots of things. I have a whole bucket of stuffed animals here. And they're all my friends. They'll always be in the mood to hang out with you. And they'll be very excited every time. Not to mention, money also buys things that you can bribe your friends with. For example, dog treats. Money also buys dogs too. Today I'm featuring my dog in an interview. Hello. Is this a comfortable place? We haven't quite worked things out yet. This is Tessa. She used to look like this, but now she looks like a newborn baby deer. All right, ready for your interview? Dogs are divas. Those are all the tips I have for today, Mom. Thanks for watching. I'll see you when you get home from work. Bye.